Hi, Brad Poche here with Barry Land Campers, and I'd like to take a minute today and talk to you about the brand spanking new Blue Ridge floor plans we have in stock. Before we go inside and take a look at this floor plan, which has got to be one of the hottest floor plans and best in the industry right now, I'd like to take a minute and talk about some of the outside features of the Blue Ridge fifth wheels. Blue Ridge is really our, one of our premium brands of fifth wheels, and there's a lot of things that the Blue Ridge has that you may not notice just by walking up to the trailer, but if you owned it and you, and you had it and you were using the camper, you could tell a big difference. Start out here on the outside, I'd like to point out the front cap. Uh, this front cap is actually painted here in the front. It's not stickers, it's not um, uh, pigmented fiberglass. The actual stripe here is painted. And what that's gonna help prevent is fading and things like that as we go down the road. You notice here on the front, this particular unit's option with the trail air pin box. That's an option, it's not standard on the Blue Ridge. We put it on some, not on some others, depending upon you know, the, the equipment and, and what we're trying to do. Uh, but it is something that's available on the Blue Ridge fifth wheels. One of the most important things that I want to point out on the Blue Ridge is it comes with a Z frame. And you kind of say, well, what is the Z frame? It's, it's, it's what it sounds like, it makes a Z here. The frame, actually you have a 12 inch I-beam that rolls out from the back and then it's another I-beam is welded to it a little lower and what that gives you is a bigger pass through storage. It gives you a bigger storage area here in the front and it gives you a bigger storage area here on the side. On the Blue Ridge we actually take the spare tire and mount it in the inside of the belly of this camper versus underneath or on the back as you see on a lot of other stuff. Just to give you a comparison, this is a Sierra, very good brand and a very good seller here at Berry Lane Campers, but a little bit less money. You can look at Sierras in the 40s, the mid to upper 40s, versus on the Blue Ridge, you're going to be into the 50s and, and lower 60s. And they look very similar. There's a lot of features that are that you'll find in the Sierra that you'll also find in the Blue Ridge, but the Z frame is one of the difference. If you notice this compartment door in the front is a little bit smaller and the spare tire is out here on the front of the camper. Another neat feature on the Blue Ridge, and you, it's hard to see, but you can see here that we have two little holders that hold this compartment door up. The reason being is this door is about an inch and a half thick. It's heavy. And what they found is these doors will sag if you leave them open like that all the time because the door is so thick. A reason that that door is so thick is because we use a higher grade gel, gel coat fiberglass on the outside. So this is a thicker, higher grade gel coat fiberglass on the outside of a Blue Ridge than what you're going to find in a lot of the other brands that we carry and some of our competition carries. And those are some of the things that you may not be able to see when you walk up, but as you own a Blue Ridge and you, you start opening doors and closing doors, you can kind of see the difference in where the money's at. Another option I'd like to point out is the Blue Ridge actually uses a hair window. Hair is a brand name, but it's a little more expensive window. We use the frameless windows on the outside as you'll find, but a lot of the other brands will use a Lippert window this window is a better built window. It's a little more expensive. It's gonna help you, uh, it helps create a better seal and it's a little thicker glass. Uh, so those are things, like I said before, you may not see as you walk up to a unit, the floor plans are gonna be the same from unit to unit, but when you really start digging into the bones, you'll see why the Blue Ridge is a little more of an expensive unit than some of the other brands that we carry. Like I said before, it's our premium bunkhouse. It's, the, it's one of the most, uh, I hate to say most expensive, but it's, it's, it's at a price point that's uh, one of our premium brands. We're gonna walk inside and take a look at both of these units. We have two here. Uh, this is a brand spanking new floor plan with a mid bunk room. Real exciting floor plan. Uh, you'll, see it in the, uh, you'll see it across the industry. But once again, you're gonna get some of the features in the Blue Ridge that you're not gonna find in a lot of brands that are out there. We're in the inside of the brand spanking new 2016 Blue Ridge 3780 LF. And from the looks of it, this looks like any other rear living room fifth wheel that we would have on stock. Talking outside about some of the features of the Blue Ridge, 
This is a residential style furniture. This furniture is sold in furniture stores as residential furniture. We just put it in an RV. This is not RV furniture that was made for an RV. Uh, if you notice, nice leather, full size sofa here. A grown a tall person can lay down on it. You got your TV right here. Uh, so nice residential furniture. We're going to put a fireplace here. I don't know if you can see it over our uh, countertop here, our island countertop. But the fireplace here is something that we're going to find that you're going to find on all of our Blue Ridges here in stock. A lot of people like the fireplace because you can turn it on in the winter instead of running your furnace. We have uh, theater seating here. Um, it has a recliner in it. Another real nice feature that you're going to find, and this is stuff that you're going to find when you step up to the Blue Ridge, is the, the uh, day-night shades here, or the blackout shades. And a lot of people like these because you can totally black out the, the coach. A lot of people stay in uh, Blue Ridges full time, and you get in a campground, it's hot outside, you really want to try to make it cooler. So what you can do is you pull this shade down, full blackout shades, completely knock all the light coming in from the outside. It gives you better insulation. Speaking of keeping it cooler and insulation, we've had a time this year. This has been a very hot summer. And we've really struggled with keeping campers cool here and keeping our customers. As campers get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's harder and harder to keep them cool. This is one of the biggest floor plans in the industry right now, this particular Blue Ridge floor plan. And there's a lot of people building it. Well, one thing we do on the Blue Ridge product, as well as the Cardinal and a lot of the other products that we sell here at Berryland, is they're going to have the quiet, cool air condition. And what that means is you may have a, an AC unit sitting on the roof right here. Well, you won't see the return air vent. What you'll see is two side return air vents. And what that does is, is it pulls the return air from two different places and brings it back to the air conditioner. And what that means for you is, is we're moving more air. And that's very important. I've become an expert on air conditioners this summer and how they work and how the ducts work and what we need to do to, to cool them. And we actually had our service manager, uh, Lloyd Lejeune, and our service director, Chad Savona, in, in a unit. And we have a thermal imaging system. It's a real fancy deal, but we can actually take and shoot this at the ceiling and look at the temperature of the air in the ceiling. And using that, we found that this is the most efficient way to move air in a camper. And we've had three or four different brands that we've parked next to each other, and the Blue Ridge actually performed the best. That's an important feature in the middle of the summer in Louisiana. A lot of people plan uh, beach trips and things like that, and when you get this air that moves a little better, we found that it's easier to keep the camper cool. You know, big deal nowadays is everybody wants these colored units. You know, everybody wants a unit with a dark brown cap and a dark brown outside. Well, that's nice and wonderful if you're in Michigan in the winter. You want the sun to hit it and, and warm it up. But in Louisiana in August, we can ride around with a little thermometer and you can take and read the temperature off of these units. And a lighter unit is, is definitely going to work better for you. The Blue Ridge is a nice cream colored tan with a cream colored tan roof versus we've had some dark tan roofs that have been 10 to 15 degrees hotter here in the, in the summertime. So it's something to think about. You know, I know the, 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 the trend has been going to these more colorful campers, but in Louisiana, sometimes white and light is not a bad idea. Uh, but we found this roofing system to cool better and to keep the temperature better. So it's something that's very important to us. We're going to flip around because I'm going to show you some of the cool features about this floor plan. Once again, we're in the rear of the unit. So this is a typical rear living room. Nice big pantry. I do want to point that out before we flip around. But I'm going to show you what's making this particular floor plan sell. And all we've done is flipped around, the camera's standing in the back of the fifth wheel, and I'm right here by the entry door. As I said before, typical rear living room fifth wheel, but what makes this floor plan unique is this little room here as you come into the kitchen. And this is a little bunk room. We got a, a hide-a-bed sofa in here. Along the wall on this end, you're going to have an entertainment center. 
And then over this room, and it's accessed here in the hall, is a loft bedroom. And I'm going to go film that here in a second and show you kind of what we're talking about because this is a very versatile floor plan. You can actually sleep a pile of people in here. This kind of serves as an extra room. You got the sofa with a hide, the hide -a bed sofa underneath here with a bunk that folds down on top so you could fit three people in here, two people comfortably. You got a queen bed up here so you can actually fit two adults up here. You got the big giant sofa in the rear so you can fit a couple of people there. And then you have the private bedroom up in the front with a king bed. So, you know, mom and pop can be comfortable up there in the front. Also wanted to point out while we're here in the kitchen area, this is a brand new feature that's being offered in campers nowadays. And we've seen bigger refrigerators become very popular here in the last year, year and a half. And a lot of people have been putting residential refrigerators. We have a Blue Ridge with this floor plan with a residential refrigerator here in stock. But this unit is an 18 cubic foot. It's called the Polar Max 18. And this is a Dometic refrigerator. It works just like an RV refrigerator. You know, propane, gas, so you can actually run it while you're going down the road, but it's big like a residential refrigerator. You notice there's no divider here in the center. You have drawers at the bottom. Real nice refrigerator, real nice feature. Big freezer here. This is a pass-through area here, so you can utilize the entire freezer up here at the top. Um, so as the advent of refrigerators, the or residential refrigerator comes, the RV business is, is turning out an alternative for those that want to have the versatility of dry camping, using it on propane, being able to use it while you're going down the road. I know a lot of people use this to go to uh, the car races where you may not have the availability of electricity. You can use this on propane, still have a nice big giant refrigerator. But if you do like the residential refrigerator, we got it both ways for you. So another nice feature here on the Blue Ridge product is the freestanding dinette in a bunkhouse. This table actually opens up here and it gives you a little storage area here underneath the table. And it also has these, these little wings here, we call them, so that you could actually fit four people on this table. We got two chairs that'll stow away upstairs in the front, and then we have two of the bigger dinette chairs, all match the decor, the valances, you know, the nice things here in the camper. Um, we're gonna walk up here into the hallway and as I was saying before, you have a loft up here. And we're going to turn around and film that from this direction so you can see it. But this is how you access the loft bedroom here. Very nice big bed area. Another nice thing about the Blue Ridge product, and I should have pointed this out in the living area, but you'll notice a lot of lights and light switches. Here by the door, you got light switches that turn things on and off. All your lights in a Blue Ridge product are gonna be LED lights. Um, and in the number of lights that you find, when you get into some of our less expensive products, you'll find less lights. When you're looking at the Blue Ridge product, you're gonna find lights everywhere, reading lights over the sofa, over the theater seating, up in the bedroom, so plenty of lights in here. As you look up into the master bedroom here, I mentioned before we got a king bed. It's washer dryer prepped. I'm going to see if I can let Mr. Butch come through here without <laughs> tripping here. <laughs> well, we have an area here for a stackable washer dryer. This is a nice feature in all the Blue Ridges. These little drawers. It's right here by your washer dryer. You can fold your clothes, stack them up, put them right here in the drawers. Nice area closet up here. As I said before, king, uh, king bed and the Whisper Choir air condition up here in the front. Your ducts come up through the top, your return air vents, so you got a real nice area, or, or, or you're moving air, I should say, and that's important, as I have learned this summer. Nice big area up here in the front for your closet. Uh, once again, we know, I, I mentioned lights. You got a light here in the closet. That's something that some brands don't put. They don't put a light in the closet. Hey, if you can't see in the closet, what you gonna do? over the bedroom here. LED lights so you can read. 
windows that open here in the side of the bedroom with the blackout shades. So you're up here in the bedroom sleeping in the middle of the day, you got blackout shades. You can, you can black this thing out. This is definitely our premium brand and they've really come out with some unique floor plans. I think this is going to be one of the top sellers in the RV industry this year. We have two in stock right now and we'll have plenty in stock for you to look at. Come by and check out the new Blue Ridge at Berryland Campers.